looking for a chance to join the debate on what role the county should have in immigration issues, if any. If Howard County's five-person council votes to become a sanctuary county, they'll effectively bar any county employee from asking about a person's immigration status or discriminating based on their answer, even local law enforcement. First concern is the potential impact on public safety and our relationship with ICE and other federal partners. The pol Police Chief Gary Gardner spoke against the bill out of concern for losing federal partners and grants under the Trump administration. He said his officers don't ask about immigration status even now. The Howard County Police Department has a long established reputation for treating all people equally with respect and dignity. Opponents of the bill organized on Facebook, keeping track of votes for and against coming into tonight's hearing. They wore red in solidarity and filled most of the room. But the bill's supporters spoke out too and made one point abundantly clear. They would not have pursued this law under a different president. While over 70% of Howard County residents voted for a candidate other than Donald Trump, we know he'll be our president. While Donald Trump has maligned immigrants, promised to build a wall, pledged to register and deport all Muslims, then says they're just words, we know that words matter. And while some dismiss the concerns of our immigrant community and its allies, we know that the anxiety and fear is real. The debate continuing on late into tonight and nothing will be settled tonight. The vote on this measure won't come until early February. In Howard County, Garrett Hake, WUSA 9. All right, are we going to get some sanctuary from rain? Yes, we will. Actually, you know, tomorrow and Thursday, very, very nice. More like okay. March and April. And, you know, today we were kind of sweating the three degree guarantee because we went 55 and it got to 52, but not until about 7 o'clock tonight. Oh. But we made it, so there we go. We're going to go 59 tomorrow, more sun. Now, again, it will be breezy tomorrow. It may not quite feel as warm as the temperatures may indicate with the, with the uh, northwest winds tomorrow. 47 right now, uh, dew points 47. When these two match, humidity is 100%. does not have to be raining or snowing. It just has to have 100% humidity. Okay, bus stop temps, uh, 42 to 53. A little fog possible early in the morning. Shouldn't be a huge problem. Allison will be in bright and early to make sure. Becoming breezy and pleasant on Wednesday. And then still very nice on Thursday. In fact, in some ways, a better day because of less wind. And then showers on Friday, Inauguration Day. Yes, we have yellow weather alert. Mild over the weekend, dry Saturday, wet Sunday afternoon. Okay, Inauguration starts out dry. 9 a.m., low 40s. 11 a.m., mid 40s. And I don't think it's going to get quite out of the 40s over the uh, course of the afternoon. Rain by noon or 1 o'clock. 49, it's all light, 3 o'clock, rain and showers, 49, 5 o'clock, rain and showers, and 48. Indications are now it could be out of here by about 9 or 10 o'clock at night. All right, 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, still 52 downtown, low 50s to the south, upper 40s to mid 40s up toward Hagerstown. We get into the midday, uh, mid after, mid uh, morning rather, 53 now downtown. Clouds will kind of be stubborn, uh, Martinsburg, Winchester, and points west into Cumberland and Romney, but around town, Fair amount of sunshine tomorrow. By 1 o'clock, it's 56, and that sounds great, but notice the arrow here. Pretty strong northwesterly winds gusting over 20, so it's going to make the 56 feel just a little cooler than it is. Still, by January standards, we're stealing yet another day from winter, which I'm not happy about. 53 at 5 o'clock, 55 in Fredericksburg, and then by about uh, 24 hours from now, we're back in the 40s. Winds will subside a little bit uh, tomorrow uh, night, and then we get into uh, Thursday, just 30s and 40s to start, not that cold. So overnight, 42 to 52, mostly cloudy, cool. We'll keep a shower possible, but mainly we're looking at fog and winds lights out of the southwest at 5 to 10. So 50s to start in the day planner. Look at this, 55 by 11 o'clock and 56 by 1 o'clock, but notice the winds, northwest 17, 18 miles an hour. So in some respects, Thursday may be better because of less winds, 55, 49, yellow weather alert. For Friday, rain and showers in every street we know closed off. So yellow weather alert, I think, is reasonable. Saturday, nice, near 60. 53 on Sunday, rain develops again in the afternoon. Warm rain on Monday, 57 on Tuesday. Sunshine returns and will return right after this. The weather's bad, even when it's good. We're going to let you know what's happening by bringing you the latest conditions in your neighborhood. That's why we track fast-moving systems with the Sheehy Storm Tracker 9. First Alert Weather is everywhere, only on WSA 9 News. This is the Silverado Special Edition. This is one gorgeous truck. Oh, did I say there was only one Special Edition? Because actually there's five. <laughs> oh. 